As Byzantium continues to march closer to its release for the Librem 5, the UI has seen some fundamental changes. When you shut down or restart, a new dialog prompt will ask you if your selection is correct. Cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth can now be software disabled with a simple tap. A long tap on any of the top four icons will bring you to the appropriate page in the Settings app. Auto-rotate will allow you to flip your phone in any orientation. You can lock or unlock the screen rotate easily. With a bit of CSS, you can completely customize just about every aspect of how the keyboard appears. For those that are multilingual, the keyboard now handles having lots of different layouts selected. To add more layouts, tap this icon, then choose the Settings button. Stream is a new app being tested internally. This web video browser lets you search the web and returns video results without advertising, tracking, recommendations, or comments. Videos load quickly and have no issue skipping to unplayed parts. This no-nonsense interface makes it easy to download audio to your Musics folder or the entire video to your Videos folder. Progress continues to make the Librem 5 more versatile by supporting more M2 wireless cards. This will allow us to support additional M2 cards with a variety of different specs. Work continues on the camera by packaging the app Megapixels. Before we make it available in an update, we're hunting down the last few critical bugs. All code here is published for those that want to help out or just want to play around. While some applications are not yet pixel perfect, these are under development and progressing. Once adapted, they'll be added to the default lineup of apps. All the source for all these projects is conveniently uploaded, complete with a searchable index that makes it simple to find projects, issues, or individual contributors. Find out more at source.puri.sm.